name's Luke Doucette, and uh, in keeping with showing off little pieces of gear that I have collected over the years, this guitar is, um, it's, it's a, I call it a Sears Roebuck guitar, because I think the Sears Roebuck company uh, probably made this guitar sometime back in the late 60s, maybe earlier, I don't really know. It's, it's, it's plywood, it's not worth a whole lot of money. Uh, they were catalog guitars, largely, and um, you know, kids would order them and try and learn how to play. But some of the some of the blues guys got their hands on them and, and realized that they did a funky thing that that that, that the more high end guitars wouldn't do. Hound Dog Taylor played a guitar not unlike this, and he would also he would use it in an open tuning and play slide on it. I'm using it in an open tuning right now as well. Jay Nowicki from a band called The Perpetrators out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. He plays a guitar very much like this, and he makes it sing. It's uh, it's pretty incredible. You should go hear him play. Um, but uh, I'm using it right now in an open E major tuning, which means I've got uh, E, the low string is E, and it's a B, and it's an E again, and it's a G sharp, then a B, then an E, and it makes a big E major chord, <clears throat> so that when you're playing slide, you can just play all the six strings and just wiggle your hand around and you get a pretty satisfying sound. <laughs> <clears throat> Some people use open D, which is the very same tuning, but every string is flat by a whole tone. I tend to favor E major because I don't sing well in D. My voice isn't really low enough. Another tuning that gets used a fair bit, in fact, Keith Richards was famous for using an open G, a G major tuning, except he would take the low string off because in the G major tuning, the low string is a low D, and he likes to have the G string, which is the root of his tuning, um, as the low string. So if he hits the guitar open, he gets the tonic. Uh, but anyway, I find these instruments are, are, are useful for slide, they're useful with open tunings. I don't know if they're useful for a whole lot more than that, although, you know, there are some very creative guitarists out there who, who will do just about anything with just about anything. But like I say, this guitar is relatively cheap. You can find one at a pawn shop like I did. I got this one in Winnipeg in probably 1989, you know, when I was a teenager. And I probably paid 100 bucks or 200 bucks for it, I don't remember. But um, it's, a, it's a great slide instrument. It sounds good for the blues. It's good to have one laying around, especially in the studio, if people are like, well, we're not really getting what we want out of your fancy pants stuff. What else do you have? And I'll pull this out and, and see if it's the sound they're looking for. <laughs>